Carlo. Uh, obviously, you and Aaron, when, when you guys can both be in the lineup, the damage that can do, even just psychologically to a pitcher so strong, how do you feel like you benefit from being around Aaron, both in terms of your game and also just as a guy to you know, kind of bounce things off, and also just despite your swings being very different, you know, what can you learn from the way he approaches things and vice versa, do you think? Um, well, same body type. So in the box, we're, we're going to be approached uh, similar, um, whether we have different um, uh, swings or, uh, you know, direction to the ball is still going to be, um, you know, try not to get us extended and get us reaching. So we'll, we are uh, approached for the most part the same. And they can't pitch us the exact same because we're learning from watching each other's at-bats. So they have a very... Uh, interesting way that they have to approach us. We go next to Pete Caldera with the Bergen Record. Jeff Rowland, uh, Aaron Boone had mentioned that uh, he'd like to incorporate you into the outfield uh, uh, this year, and I just wondered how you feel about that and how, how much you, you feel you can contribute out there. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good uh, ongoing discussion through uh, spring and uh, get, get me out there and get me, get me going um, in order to be out there uh, during the season um, as much as the team needs. So. We can go to Sweeney Murray. Sweeney, go ahead. Giancarlo, last year was, uh, was difficult on many levels for you and a lot of other players uh, with the Black Lives Matters movement and it seemed you were all very emotional about the things that were happening away from the field and what you could do about it. I'm wondering now, with several months removed in the off season, kind of what your perspective is and how difficult it was to go through last year, see it all happen, take the platform that you have, try to play at a high level, everything combined. What, what are your thoughts on, on how that, what, what kind of toll did it take on you? Uh, I, I think early on from last year, the, the, kind of outlook was was nothing nothing's really surprising nothing you know you got to be wake up and be prepared for for anything and a new adjustment a new wild thing on the news um and uh you know as much as you can't always be prepared for something like that it kind of just uh uh opened your eyes a little bit more you know uh had to had to be ready to respond in a, in a positive way, an in influential way, and uh, just just keep it moving. So at the same time, uh, that's how this year will be, and um, you know just just spread the positivity. Yeah, have you thought about ways to you know it's kind of hard to maybe do in the moment as you're trying to get through a season, but are there ways that you're trying to do reach out to community things like that? Yeah, I mean, there's always uh, input you can give. Um, you know, it's it's different than normal where you can't can always uh, show up to a community, uh, you know, show face, which is more, most important. Uh, but, uh, you know, there, there's always ways around uh, the circumstance. Yep. We're next to Bradford Davis with the Daily News. Go ahead, Bradford. Hey, Giancarlo, good to see you again. Um, you know, uh, Domingo Ramon just spoke and he mentioned, you know, that he spoke to all his teammates about, you know, um, everything that, you know, he had, you know, um, done in 2019 and, you know, ask for forgiveness and all that. Um, I am curious, um, you know, from your perspective, you know, uh, if there was, uh, you know, uh, what you can share of, I guess, your feelings, you know, from hearing him, you know, address yourself and other teammates and, you know, any, you know, confidence you have that, uh, you know, that he's in a place where, you know, he's going to maintain healthier relationships and, you know, I guess seek peaceful alternatives and conflict. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, very smart to address the team just to get it get it out there, get it in the room, um, and move forward from here. Now it's definitely uh, uh, a big mistake he made, and um, he understands that. And at the same time, uh, it's it's what are you going to do with that mistake? So you're gonna you're gonna improve and look to improve to to make everyone around you better and uh, improve yourself. Uh, you you can show that and. Um, he, he looks determined to do so. So um, now it's uh, just giving him the chance to, uh, to show that. We go next to Meredith Marakovic. Meredith, go ahead. 
Awesome, Carlo. Staff here at DMS have been working all day sectioning off seats. It looks like there are going to be fans on Sunday. Given last year and everything that happened, what would it mean to not only you but the team as a whole just to get some fans back in the stands? Uh, that would be huge. Um, I know we're all looking forward to that. You know, no, no more, no more fans through the through the speaker system. You know, we need we need some some live action fans, and I, I think it'll be great for for the fans as well, you know, to be able to, um, you know, t get their mind off of some for a couple of hours, come come see us play and uh, just en enjoy being outside and back to uh, somewhat normalcy. Have you guys talked about that at all in the clubhouse, about having people back in? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we know it's going to be cool and um, not, not to the extent uh, of, of normal, but uh, it's better than nothing for sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We go next to Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Thank you for your time, Jeff Carlo. Uh, Jeff you were very outspoken about uh, racial and social issues uh, last year, social justice issues. How do you feel Major League Baseball has progressed or, or acted to tackle, to tackle any of those issues so far? Uh, I, I think they've done a good job. I mean, uh, embracing it, getting, getting uh, getting the knowledge out there, I think first you have to be educated and um, before you can uh, can go forward. So I, I think they've done a, a good uh, happy medium of that and, um, you know, just got to continue it. Uh, let me take another question from Bob Clappish. Please unmute, Bob. Hi, Giancarlo. I just wanted to follow up on the previous question about the Do you feel like uh, this apology was well received in the room and everyone's ready to move on, or is this a work in progress and is still going to take some time? Um, no, I mean, w once once you can get up and stand in front of the team and, and address uh, how you're feeling and, and – uh, how you'd like things to go, then that's when the the dynamic changes from silence. So uh, it's definitely uh, good that he did that, and now it's just moving forward. I mean, we're all here to um, that. That's what uh, a team is for, and in the clubhouse, we we all have difficult things to go on. Um, some a lot worse than others, but um, it, it's our job to support um, in the right way when when giving the opportunity.